there's actual animals over here. Oh my goodness. Hey friends, we are back at it again with another video of Coral Island. Um, so I was told in my last post, okay, there must have been an update or something that happened because I am getting different little pop-ups like this. So to grow crops, start by clearing debris from your land. Either that or I just haven't played for so long that they decided I needed to relearn how to play, um, one of the two, but I was told, oh, my dog is barking. Okay. So I am so grateful. I cannot remember who told me in the comments that you can use the Sith for harvesting. Oh my goodness. Frickin' lifesaver because I like you, I couldn't do it before. Like I, I don't know. I tried with the Sith, but I guess stuff wasn't ready to harvest when I had tried it, but, um, yeah, that was so much easier than the struggle I was doing prior to that. So let's go check on our chickens. Well, our chicken and our duck. Give Coco some pets. Oh, hey, we have an egg. Mocha some pets. Awesome. We have an egg, which I believe we need an egg for the temple offering. So that is exciting news. I have no idea what I want to focus on in this video. Um, why did I go over there? Um, I don't know what I want to focus on in this video quite yet. Like I just, I'm, what is, what kind of star is that? It's like a colorful one. So there's the silver and then there's the bronze and then whatever this colorful one is. If anybody knows, let me know. Um, I don't think I want to sell that just yet. Uh, what, where do I have stuff stored all over? Okay, so we're gonna, I'm just gonna put all these in here and we'll go from there. We'll We'll figure that out. Um, I'm going to run over to the temple and uh, donate this egg because I know that we need to do that for the lake temple. And then I'll take a look at our quests and see what we need to do. I think it's, yeah, this one. So we need an egg, duck egg, large egg, large duck egg. And then I know for the artesian, I believe we need mayo. So we might be doing that tomorrow with uh, the chicken egg because I believe the chickens lay every every um, day and then the ducks are every other day. We'll open that in case they want to come out in the rain. And yeah, let's take a look at our quests to see what all we can get done. Um, craft a flower bouquet. Befriend townies by getting to know them and gift giving brownie points if you give them something they love. Has that been there this whole time? <laughs> and I just never noticed. I don't know. Um, let's see what we need. Oh my goodness. Fiber. Okay, well, we crafted that. Equip the item you like to give. Yes, I've already given gifts. So, give it to someone. All right, sounds good. Urgent request. Oh, um, Anna's looking for a tomato. I have a tomato, so I'll just go grab that tomato again. We'll deliver that to Anne. And then we'll give the bouquet to somebody. Oh, we have a cutscene going on. Whoa! Have you been sneaking up on me? Oops, haha, <laughs> uh, sorry. Haha. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's just so quiet in here. I guess anything would have shocked me. Oh, sorry. I thought you heard me walking. Okay, I thought you were Anne. 
I was supposed to go and get some fresh vegetables at Sam's, but I thought, why not take them from here? Nature, right? It's much closer distance, and let's face it, they all taste the same. <laughs> well, okay. That was cute. Between the oil spill and the black roots, it's only a matter of time before the aquatic life here face extinction. We have to take action immediately before that happens. Girl, I'm just dropping off a tomato. <laughs> we did not have to get all that deep about it. Um, I mean, I don't disagree, but again, I was just here to deliver a tomato. <laughs> Now I'm going to figure out who I want to give the bouquet to. I'm leaning towards a certain blacksmith. Um, you know, Pablo. Because so far he's been kind of my favorite. Which is really funny because in Stardew Valley I was and still am completely obsessed with Sebastian. He was my favorite character, um, my favorite dateable character, and I feel like Pablo is just like the complete opposite of what Sebastian is in uh, Stardew Valley, so. Oh, I didn't mean to talk to him, oops. Mark gave me the lowdown on the cavern. With more gates opened, there's a shot at getting some top-notch ores. Hand them over and I'll make your tools sharper than ever. Well, I'm trying to give you this bouquet of flowers. Thank you, you're very generous. Thanks, I know. Raphael and I used to play in the mud in weather like this. We'd get in so much trouble when mom found out. Ha, good times. <laughs> yeah, my siblings and I, well, my brother and my cousins, in the small town we grew up in, we used to swim in the puddles, which you're not apparently supposed to do because it's gross, but we used to swim in the puddles after a really heavy rain. I, can, I can't believe we have a corporate office across our house. Raphael, we've, we've gone over this before. Oh no, I need to dry off my boots. Mud everywhere. Oh well. Oh, Raphael, we'll give you a flower too. You don't walk away from me. There you go. Oh, I keep pressing the wrong button. I appreciate it. Thanks. You're welcome. All right. Well, maybe we'll head back to our farm. Um, get rid of some of this inventory that we're holding and then maybe head over to the mines. A fire hydrant. Ooh. Um, but yeah, we'll probably head over to the mines and get some mining done. I haven't done that in quite a little while, so that'll be good. And I want to get some food to take with some of my veggies and whatnot. So we'll do that. I'll get everything gathered and then we'll head over to the mines or the caverns. So we are going to work on the water giant and I don't have any bombs I think like I like I haven't crafted any so we'll take a look at that at getting some crafted seeing if I have what I need to get the explosives oh yeah I do I have I can do a few I say a few and I just max it all out <laughs> Um, but yeah, so we'll start, I'll get this area cleared, and then we'll probably just jump cut to lower levels, because clearing these is not going to be too entertaining. Does anyone know what these essences are for? Like the water essence and the earth essence? I have no idea, and I guess I could look it up, but I, I haven't looked it up. Um, so if anybody knows, let me know. Okay, so we made it to, my dogs keep barking, I'm so sorry about that. Um, we made it to level five in the mines. Oh, Luke, clumsy goober, morning. Still asleep, what? <laughs> Good morning. Ah, uh, yes, that is, I am 
Always, in fact. Huh? I'd love to stay and talk, but I'm kind of in a panic. Why? My dog Taco is missing. What? Taco? Have you seen him? No, but I will keep a lookout for him. Oh, okay. Would you keep an eye out, please? Taco loves going on adventures, but he usually goes home at the end of the day. He's a mountain dog. Came from up there, actually. Just followed Suki and sort of lives down here now. It's only been a day. Hopefully Taco is on a new adventure. I'll be on the lookout. How are you doing? Not good. I'm just worried he might get lost or maybe he went home back to the mountain. If he did, then I'd be glad as long as he's safe. Anyway, I should probably leave. Take care. Oh, not Taco. We're going to have to keep a lookout. You should check on Luke at the vineyard later. If I don't forget, we'll check on Luke at the vineyard later. <laughs> oh, let's see what we have for mail. Nope, not that. Read the mail. My friend, Clumsy Goober. I've heard making butter croissants can be difficult, but I believe this recipe will make it much easier for you. Mother has made it many times, and I can vouch for its effectacy. Uh, please enjoy Luke Duckhorns. Okay. Clumsy Goober, just checking in with you. I have this recipe for sweet potato poutine. If you want to try cooking it, it's my go-to comfort meal. Try it out. Pablo. Well, it's official. The campaign is closed, and we reached four times our original goal. That's blowing my mind. I'm running out of words to explain how I feel. We're starting construction of the Founders Hall as soon as possible. We'll have an opening party and everything. I'll come get you on the day of the grand opening. All right, Scott. We've started a new initiative called Merit Points, a reward system for community involvement. I'd love to explain more in person. Join me at the community center soon. Looking forward to it, Millie. All right, so we got some new recipes. We have the Founders Hall going on. I don't think anything. Oh, wait, I do have some harvestables. So I'm going to take care of my garden real quick, and then we'll figure out what we're going to do for the day. Okay, I've tried multiple times to offer the slime goop, and it will not let me. And I don't like I'm not understanding why I cannot do it um so if anybody else has been having issues with that please let me know because I'm so confused as to why I cannot offer it to the temple oh it's you clumsy goober why are you throwing rocks at the sea you're hurting the fish are you playing a game I want to play no I am not and no you may not all right, Jim. This is something we used to do. It was a little contest at the end of our outings. She told me once she appreciated how I didn't hold back. It was refreshing for her. Who's her? Well, that's enough of walking down memory lane. Goodbye, clumsy goober. You should return this photo back to Jim. Well, all right then. Figuring out some stuff about good old Jim, who still has not warmed up to us. He's not a fan of the uh, clumsy goober, but that's okay. Oh, another cutscene. This is the third one. <laughs> This is the third one in this, this video. Oh, hey. Hey, what you up to? Were you trying to take a picture? Uh, haha, -ha, yeah. I'm trying to get a picture of myself with the lighthouse. It's for my mom. I don't usually do stuff like this. But my mom will literally come here and drag me home if I don't send her one soon. I can help, why don't you stand a bit further so we can get a better picture of the lighthouse. I'm not an expert on photography, but I can help out a little. 
You sure? Thanks. Yes, please. That was adorable. Hmm. Wow, these are good. You have an eye for these things, clumsy goober. You should take another one of me over here. The lighting is better. Okay, that was kind of adorable though. All right, what else do we want to do over here? I'm gonna check the beach for anything that we can collect. I spent like a good portion of the day trying to donate the freaking slime goo and it just wouldn't wouldn't donate. I don't know why. I don't know what the issue was. Oh hey, I got a coffer and an ornate coffer. So I think we should head to the uh, the good old blacksmith shop. See if we're able to make it there before they close. I don't know what time they close. I can never remember those things. Um, but yeah, we'll see if we can make it there before they close and get our geode processed and those coffers processed. There's actual animals over here. Oh my goodness. Screw the coffers and the geode. <laughs> I want to check out the animal shelter. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I had to talk to Millie. Hello there, Clumsy Goober. I'm glad you can make it. Millie, I'm not gonna lie to you. I came for the animals, but I guess we can we can have a chat. <laughs> We've recently implemented a system in town make life here even more to make life here even more rewarding. Let me explain. These are called merit points. You can earn them by completing errands posted on the town board right here in town. But that's not all. Attending festivals, winning the mini games or main events at them, and even the town's rank increase can also grant you merit points. For example, you may be Blossoming Butterfly, have already earned, let's see. Clumsy Goober, Clumsy Goober, ah, there you are. You've earned 40 merit points for attending the Cherry Blossom Festival. We introduced this system to encourage everyone to get more involved with the community. Okay. Over there at the merit exchange counter, you can exchange the points you've earned for various items. Trust me, it's worth the effort. So there you have it, Clumsy Goober. I'm looking forward to seeing you earn those merit points. Okay. Another cutscene? I just want to go to the animals. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Hey, that was beautiful. Do you think you can teach me? How long did it take you to learn to play like that? Sorry to, the sorry to alarm you. Can I listen to you play? No, no, you didn't alarm me. Please take a seat. Hey, here's a crazy idea. Why don't I teach you how to play? Aw, how adorable. <laughs> Maybe I'm not doing so hot. <laughs> Well, uh, easy on the strum there. <laughs> Try not to do it too hard. Wow, gotta say, you're not bad for a new player. I'm impressed. Want to do it again? Okay, that was kind of cute. But here we go. Oh my goodness! I love this so much. Here's a cat peeing. Malcolm is busy and can't talk right now. Yep, you're right, Malcolm. You're just going potty. Totally fine. Bess looks happy today. 
Fizz looks happy today. Okay, I... Inari? Inori looks happy today. There's a rabbit! Copper looks happy today. There's another rabbit. Oh my goodness. Hippiestrum? Hippiestrum? Looks happy today. How do you state? H how? How do you pronounce that? <laughs> Oh, so cute. Kit Kat looks happy today. Trinket looks happy today. I'm a sucker for some black cats. I love black cats. How do I talk to you way up there? I guess I can't. Cody looks happy today. This is so cute. I cannot. Spike Bonkers looks happy today. One of my cats is doing something. Sorry if you can hear them. Spiker Do looks happy today. Oh my goodness. Omar looks happy today. That cat is so cute. Mr. Fluff looks happy today. <laughs> Bode looks happy today. Gary Kun looks happy today. They're so adorable. I want them all. Kimbo looks happy today. Oh, I can't. They're just so cute. Oh, one of them is munching. That's what it is. I thought they were playing with something. But no, one of my cats is munching. That's so cute. I wonder if we're able to adopt animals or we have to wait for another update to be able to adopt animals. Nobody's here, so. What can I do for you? Oh, adopt a pet. Oh my goodness. Requires a pet house or a pet bed. I don't have either of those things, but oh my goodness. I want all of them. Pet house. Oh, they're all out of stock, so yeah, no, I'm. Guess you can't. Can't adopt animals yet. But we can visit them! <laughs> this is so cute. I was not expecting that. Okay, well, I'm thinking that the blacksmith's is probably closed. Oh, but I'm supposed to check on Luke. So we'll go see, we'll go see if he's here in the vineyard. Maybe I should have just checked the map to see where he might be. <laughs> oh, he's just walked. He just walked in, so so Pufferfish Corp was one who brought the who bought the building. Honestly, with it, okay, this is not the interaction I was thinking. In any case, I find starfruit aesthetically pleasing, but a tad too bitter for my taste. Why are you so keen about starfruit? I didn't know I was talking about starfruit. I wanted to know about taco. Maybe that was all I had to do to check in. It's not on the quests, so I don't know. Weird. I can think of some reasons why giants like pufferfish run in. I already we've already talked about that, Walter. Um Kenny, what you walking around in? I've been doing a lot of breathing exercises since pufferfish revealed themselves. They make me angry and I don't like being angry. Summer heat makes moving the animals twice as hard. It's not so bad though. Yeah, especially in an outfit like that, bearing it all for everybody to see. <laughs> At least it's already light when I get up in the morning. That's true. But you sure wouldn't want to be anywhere near me after work. Phew. 
Yeah, I bet you get kind of stinky, but that's okay. So yeah, so pufferfish is here. Yeah, we've talked about this. We've had this conversation. Yeah, yes, we have. Okay, I'm just gonna run to, well, I'll just check the map and see if Jim is there. No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, he's right there on the beach. Hopefully he stays on the beach. As then I can give him this photo. I'm probably gonna get lost on the way. Oh, my inventory's full. Okay, well. Yeah, we'll probably get lost on the way to the beach. I'm good at getting lost. Okay, Jim. Oh, Jim. Looks like you're not here anymore. <laughs> uh. Okay, now it's a race to catch up to Jim. Jim, Jim, Jim. Oh, I forgot. I need to, I'm sure, be holding. Give Jim and wife photo to complete quest, yes. Oh, thank you for returning this to me, Clumsy Uber. This picture, it's something I always keep with me. Thank you again, Clumsy Uber. You're welcome, Jim. Hopefully you hate me a little less now. That would be nice, wouldn't it? All right, I'm gonna head right back over to the farm. Oh, hey, my mayo is done. Yes. All right, we'll run over, donate this to the temple offering, and then get some stuff sold. I really, really wish that we were able to, to get animals already. Like, I wish we could get the um, animal beds and whatnot because I really want just all the animals running around here. I really do. If you can't tell, I'm a huge animal person. Oh, I wanted to sell stuff. What am I doing? All right, so we have 190 merit points. We gained some relationship with Walter. Oh, that was a lot for foraging. It's all those coconuts. Okay, so I think we're going to call it quits for that video. Um, we made it to level 5 of the mines for the um, water giant. And we've got a couple what seem like little side quests done. Like re um, returning the photo to, uh, to Jim. The photo of him and his wife. So that was cute. Um, still got to search for Taco. No clue where Taco is. But uh, yeah, we're going to call it quits for this video, and since it's raining again, we will come back and again be working on those mines. I really want to work on getting the water giant cleared, and then figuring out, or not figuring out, but doing more um, diving, because we need to progress in the diving aspect of the game as well. So yeah, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And I would love if you would like and subscribe. I am really trying to get more consistent with my posting, but it has been difficult with moving and getting everything situated and whatnot. And I'm hoping that I can get more onto a regular recording and editing schedule so I can get more videos posted. So if you could just bear with me, I would appreciate it. But again, like and subscribe and if you have any tips or tricks or if you know anything about the game that I clearly don't know uh, feel free to comment it because I actually really appreciate those comments because it helps me out a lot like the harvesting with the Sith I yeah I wouldn't have done that um so yeah I really appreciate it and I'll see you guys in the next one bye